A rough day on the US market. Look at the triple stack and all three are down. The Dow is off its lows of the day. We're now down only 340, only 349, but under 31,000, as you can see on the number. Uh, the Nasdaq's held itself. It was down two and a half points, nearly three at one percent at one point, but that has now pulled back. It was sparked by the Fed chair's comments on inflation. Investors continuing to move away from tech stocks. Entertainment sh shares today lower. AMC's off more than 6%, nearly 7%. Wild swings over the past. Look at that. Wild swings well above the broader market as retail investors piled in and then piled out. Um, off you see it now. You don't. Wild year, indeed, with enough drama to fill a big screen production. The Reddit rally provided an unexpected twist. As day traders triggered a big short squeeze, AMC theatres sat empty thanks to government-mandated closures. It suffered some HBO Max pain after the service owned by CNN's parent company said it would release new films straight to filming. And now, the prospect of a happy ending. I love New York. Theatres are to reopen in one of the biggest markets New York City. Adam Aaron is the chief executive. He joins me from Leewood, Kansas, via Skype. It is so good to see you, sir. First of all, congratulations. Go ahead. Good to be with you. Congratulations. You. It's, it's on the opening in New York. I was. I remember the day when you said to me at the beginning of the pandemic, Richard. I have to understand that your costs are still there, and there's not a penny of revenue coming in. Now, you've had revenue since August in some shape or form, not much, but now New York cooks it. So tell me how the company's looking. So thank you, Richard. And, you know, you've ridden this pandemic with us all the way. Um, uh, no one would have thought that the world would uh, suffer a repeat of the Spanish flu epidemic of 1919. But here we are. And yes, we went from the, being the largest movie theater in the world, largest movie theater chain in the world, with five and a half billion dollars of annual revenues, to literally overnight we shut and had no revenues at all. We shut almost a thousand theaters in 15 countries on three continents. It's been a long, tough road. The theaters in New York never reopened from that March of 2020 closure until tomorrow in New York City. We've been shut for 50 and a half weeks, but tomorrow is a very big day. We're reopening 13 theaters in New York City tomorrow. We are the largest movie theater chain in New York City. Uh, we're also opening up, uh, reopening, I should say, in San Francisco. San Francisco is one of those markets where we opened, then we shot, now we're reopening again. We're opening up a brand new theater in Denver. So as you sit here uh, tomorrow night, almost 80% of our theaters in the United States are going to be open. And that's very good news for us. One of the most important markets still to come is Los Angeles. We hope we can get Los Angeles open two, three, or four weeks from now. What do you, what, how, how did you take advantage of the whole Reddit GameStop business? You were able to pay down debt. Your share price went all over the place. But you were able to gain some advantage. Explain how. Well, the irony is that uh, we raised uh, uh, more than $2 billion of cash between April and January. And 99% of that cash was raised before this Reddit phenomenon. Um, we were able to pay down some debt in January. Uh, but, you know, my focus is really been running the business and not running the share price. Uh, there have been so many challenges for us to, over, to raise the cash that we needed to stay afloat, waiting to get to the other side of this pandemic, working with major studios to get films released again. You know, the, uh, 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 working with our landlords to be patient on the rents that we owed them. And maybe most important of all, when you think about what would get us out of this pandemic? It was two things. It was number one, being able to open our theaters safely and cleanly. And we partnered with Harvard University's prestigious School of Public Health to come up with a whole series of safety protocols uh, that we have put into place as our single highest priority to take care of the health and safety of our guests and our employees. Um, 
And uh, from there, we needed vaccinations. I was on the phone two days ago with Albert Borla, the CEO of Pfizer. And I told him that he was the most important man in the movie theater business. <laughs> because if it weren't for Pfizer and Moderna and the other vaccine makers, uh, we might have had a very unhappy ending of this story. But vaccinations are moving briskly now in the United States. They're starting to happen in Europe in numbers. That is what we believe so, will uh, be the salvation of our now industry. You need, now you need product, and uh, obviously the product is slowly coming through because the, as the Hollywood uh, and, and the movie industry makes again. Do you see, I obviously have to, you know, our parent, my parent company, uh, Warner Media, uh, you, you, you've been critical, obviously, of the decision that, that movies should go straight to streaming at the same time as in theatres. Do you hope they change their mind on that? I do, and we have been successful in dealing with other studios um, to change what, are, what might be called the traditional window pattern of our industry. For your lead, readers, uh, your listeners who don't know what that is, the window is when is it in theatres exclusively. I'm optimistic we'll find a compromise uh, that works for Warner and works for AMC. Uh, we've been business partners for 100 years. Uh, I, I think our business relationship will be bright going forward. But you are right. We, de we do need new movies. Uh, all but four major movies since March of 2020 were delayed till 2021 or sold off to streaming services. For, happily for us, most of them have been delayed until 2021. And now the deluge is going to start. Disney has Raya right. coming out tomorrow. Sony just moved Peter Rabbit up earlier into May. Uh, Universal has F9 uh, coming Memorial Day weekend. Uh, I am so looking forward to Tom Cruise and Top Gun Maverick, Paramount's new movie that's coming out the 4th of July weekend. I really do right. think you're going to see a lot of movie titles in the second half of 2021. The, the best. Thank you, sir. Great to have you on the programme. We, we've talked several times over the pandemic. It is so lovely to be able to talk to you when there is good news to report. Uh, I live in here in New York. I'm looking forward to contributing some revenues to you. I might even, I might even stretch to the popcorn. No, 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 no. Nothing like popcorn, butter and salt. Very healthy for you. Very healthy. <laughs> Thank you. Good